The choice now facing us is stark and inescapable. Shall we act decisively and peacefully now to put an end to the claim? Or shall we neglect this priceless opportunity which has eluded our predecessors for over 150 years? The conditions have never been more favorable for us to move to bring closure to this claim. Our legal advisors, including both former judges of the ICJ and seasoned practitioners before that court, have consistently assured us that we have an ironclad legal case. The United Nations also has publicly proclaimed our right to be independent, sovereign, and with full territorial integrity. Our western and southern borders are recognized by the entire world, with the exception of Guatemala. And because Guatemala is the only one that does not recognize it, we are not deemed to be internationally recognized. The borders are not deemed to be internationally recognized because one country, our neighbor, does not recognize it. The foreign minister is wrong as a matter of fact. He's wrong as a matter of law. And the prime minister should put him in check. The prime minister should correct him. The prime minister should tell him to shut up. Marlene, it is a disgrace, it is a shame that we have this document called the Legal Opinion on Guatemala's Territorial Claim to Belize, mm -hmm. issued in 2002, mm -hmm. 15 years ago, and it seems to me that the foreign minister has not read it. Yet he's around Belize and around the world, supposedly representing Belize and articulating something that is completely contrary to what our experts have advised. It is a disgrace, but in this case, there is an exceptional added element of definition or recognition of the borders of the state. So admitted, the multiple resolutions of the United Nations quoted above in referring to, quote, all the territory, unquote, and to the, quote, territorial integrity, unquote, of Belize, within borders inviolable and intact, do appear to define or recognize those borders. The resolutions indicate that the General Assembly, in implementing its authority, enunciated in Resolution 1514, has promoted the self-determination and independence of a colonial territory within the whole of the colonial borders of that territory. Finally, listen to this. But in the end, it was Guatemala alone that failed to support the resolution, resolutions affirming the territorial integrity of Belize, inviolable and intact within the traditional borders, and Guatemala alone voted against the admission of Belize to membership in the United Nations. Belize was admitted as a member of the United Nations in 1981, having acceded to statehood on September 21, 1981. While the resolution admitting it does not refer to the geographical extent of the state so admitted, nor do the resolutions admitting other members, antecedent resolutions make it plain that in the view of virtually every member of the United Nations apart from Guatemala, the borders of Belize are those that obtain under British rule. In light of these resolutions and the debates that led to their adoption, it may be concluded that the international community recognizes the state of Belize as comprising the whole of the land territory which Belize maintains that its borders encompass.